Now, as a solo player, I'm always trying to make my base as discreet as possible in Rust. I do this using several tactics, like living on a rock cliff, building out in the ocean, or of course, living on my own far out island. But what if you didn't have to be discreet? What if I was to tell you that there's a base you can build which is pretty much unraidable? And best of all, it's a one by one. Today, I'm gonna be building Hickix Tiny Bunker Base Design. This video popped up in my YouTube recommended and after seeing it, I feel like I've got to put this base design to the test and try it out on a high pop rust server. As you can see, it's an incredibly small base built along the side of a rock, but don't let the looks deceive you. Once you upgrade the bunker to armored, this little tiny base design requires 15 rockets in order to raid. Now love bunkers or hate bunkers, they are a part of rust at this moment in time. So without further ado, this is four days of some good old rust content. Sit back, relax and enjoy. All right then, prepare for madness. Apparently I wasn't the first in the server. I'm hearing lots of rocks and a stone node for me right here. Hello there. Hello, oh, hello, hello. How are go, you? Go, go, go. It's a big day. Fine. Good. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> friendly Rust players. Hey, that's a good start. Okay, these guys don't look so friendly though. Who's going to attack me? Who's going to attack me? None of them attacked me. Oh my god, it's a. Hey, What's boys, happening? Hey, best of luck and wipe, y'all. Best of yo, luck and yo, wipe. Best of luck to you, bro. Hey, yo, good luck and wipe, bro. You too. Has Rust become friendly? What's going on? Oh my god, this guy's got a hatchet. Give me about the spear. Yes! First kill of the day. I'm sorry, man. It's gotta be done. Things get brutal. We've left the beach. I'm sorry. If we can recycle this spring, we might get enough metal fragments to craft a large box. In order to start building our bunker, we're gonna need a large box. You'll see why once I start building it. I might be able to use the recycler just real quick before somebody else comes in here. There's already dead players in here. We just wanna recycle the spring and then we're good. Okay, spring has been recycled. How much metal frags did we get? None, okay. All right, we've got enough wood to craft a tool cupboard. I'm heading over to the outpost. I'm probably gonna be a bit of an out- Oh! Oh! We have a bow guy and another guy chasing me. I'm probably gonna die. There's like three of them. Okay, I'm down. Oh. Now, now things have turned into absolute carnage. We had our moment of friendliness. Okay, okay, okay. Brother, can you pick me up, brother? Please, brother. I got you, I got you. you keep talking, keep talking. I need to hear your Yo, voice. Hello? Can you pick me up, bro? Come on, there's a double one. Please. Thank you, man. Appreciate you, man. Today's date is June 26th. In a couple of days, Rust is releasing a new underwater update. The timing on this is pretty terrible. I'm not going to lie with all this, with that submersible that imploded the other day. But it's not Rust's fault. They've been working on this update for months. Today is just more of a filler. I'm going to build this one by one, have a little fun on this server. So this video might not be an absolute long one like my usual stuff. But it's just me running around the server with a 500 mad naked and just, you know, having a bit of fun. But... When the new underwater update comes out, I'm going to be straight on that because I love the ocean on this game. As you guys know, it's like one of my favorite places on the whole game. So, yeah, I love it and I'll definitely be trying that out. There's no doubt about it. Um, okay, so we got a big base being built on the water over there. Outpost is in somewhat of the weird area. There's 829 players on this server. Okay. Yeah, all of the animals are going to be frozen on this server. There's too many players on. All right, everyone, we are approaching the outpost. I've got some stuff in my inventory we can recycle, and I've got some crude oil we can turn into low grade, so we should have enough for a furnace as well. Yeah, there's a lot of trees around here, which is nice. We can grab some of those. This should give us enough metal. Hey. Okay. Hello there, fellow safe zone farmer. Hello, mates. How was your day? Not bad, not bad. Uh, obviously, I'm afraid to leave the safe zone, hey, which says dude. a lot. Well, how's your day? Uh, well, you know, just making it by. Um, 
It's not that scary out there. Not a lot of bow kids yet, but we'll get f***ed eventually. Yes, we will. <laughs> okay, I've got enough for a tool cupboard. Tool cupboard's being crafted. Taking advantage of the fast respawn rates on the crates while it's this high. Hey, mate, come back real quick. I want to do something generous. No way. There you go. Thank you. Here, take this, take this. Oh, hey, thank you. I could use that. <laughs> Wholesome rust. And then, you, and then you just run into the outpost and hear about five people screaming. <clears throat> okay, how are we doing here then? 81 scrap. Um, we, we've got some stone. We, we, can't, we just need more wood, I think. So I'll keep farming wood until we've got enough. Once again, this base is not going to cost a lot, so... Okay, we got everything we need to make our rock base. It's morning. And I am getting the hell out of here with the hopes of uh, not dying. There's a rock right here, man. If we can build on this, that'll be a miracle. It's su Oh, we can, boys! Okay, wait. I need to check a few things before we do this. Don't attack me. Bring the whole ocean out. Bring the yacht out. So I gotta make sure of something. There's a base being built right next to me. Now, in order to build this bunker base, we need to be able to build this triangle foundation that you can see right here. So the positioning of the bunker base itself is very important. You pretty much have to make sure that you build on the corner of a rock so that you're able to place this triangle foundation. Unfortunately, this requires some trial and error. And if you're on a high pop server like we are, you've not got a whole lot of time to be messing around, destroying twig and building back up. You got to get the base built as quickly as possible. But unfortunately, as you can see right here, I was unable to place the triangle foundation. Oh crap. Why am I- why- what? I, I... Now the group of players from the base behind the rock had heard me building and they came out to slaughter me and stop my building progress. As I ran away, for whatever reason, the outpost decided to start shooting at me. Attempt number one at building the bunker, unsuccessful. We go again. Okay, this time we're gonna find a rock first, lads before I uh, farm up the stuff. So then we know exactly where to go once we've got the resources to build this. Now the desert is the absolute best spot to find these rocks. Now you can pretty much build on any rock you want, as long as it's vertical and has a little bit of a corner to it that you can build around. But these rocks in particular are just perfect. So the desert is where we're gonna be living. The perfect rock that I'm looking for is something like this. This would be perfect to build on. There is a base being built right next to this rock, but we can't be too picky. Um, that's a really nice rock. There's also a few more rocks. I mean, the desert's filled with these things. Okay, this one's perfect as well. And this one's a little bit better because it's slightly more towards the ocean and stuff, so we can do some ocean farming. I like this one much more, so I'm actually going to have this one marked down as well. Rock two. All right, so we've selected another rock to build our bunker on. I went ahead and did the same strategy as before. Hit a couple of barrels around outpost, did some recycling, collected some wood, and headed back over to the rock to build our base. Oh, somebody's got a car. Yes, a little taxi service. Hello. Hi. All right, roof camper's over there. We're going over here. Come on, second time lucky. Oh, car. Oh my, that was the camper van looping around on the road. All right, getting closer and closer to the rock. The one useful thing about nighttime is, one, it's good for being sneaky if you're a solo player and you want to make like a run somewhere. Two, it reminds me to clean my monitor. So there's two useful aspects to nighttime, I suppose. Okay, we're almost at the rock. Come on. Okay, here's rock number two. We're going to crouch right here until it gets a bit lighter so we can see what we're doing i'm thinking about starting a second channel boys um where i'm just gonna post like random things of that i do me and my uh, brother have been climbing a lot lately so if you're interested in climbing uh, like indoor bouldering i've become somewhat addicted also brit has started climbing so we've actually been talking about meeting up and having a little climbing collab uh which should be a lot of fun but anyway I'm rambling on. It's night time. We've got nothing else to do, boys, except just talk about random stuff. 
and hide in this bush. Now after sunrise, I began building the bunker. This time around, I was able to build the triangle foundation, and so Bob's your uncle, we're good to go. The great thing about this base is once you've built it, you can secure the bunker straight away. So you can essentially build the bunker, secure it, and then you can build the rest of the base around the bunker and have all of your loot secure. And once it's a bunker like this, nobody's getting inside it, put it that way. Now, in order to build the section of the base, which we're gonna be entering in, this requires you to remember a certain sequence that you can see on the screen right now. Now, I'm not gonna explain how to do this. I'm just gonna leave the link in the description to hick, 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 uh, what, what's your name, dude? Hick, him. <laughs> so you can see how to, uh, Build this, and he does a very good job of explaining it. Okay, I've done it. I have officially done it, right? Upgrade that to wood. Add a roof there. And a door right there. Place the door down. Okay, lock's going down. All right, so it's a bunker. It's completely sealed off. There's no door. All we've got to do to access it is place a roof triangle right there. And boom, it opens up the bunker. We can access our tool cupboard and... And hang on. Well, looks like we have a problem, Houston. It's good thing that I'm making these mistakes so that you guys don't have to when you come to build this base yourself. Pretty much what's happened here is the rock that I've built on is not vertical enough. As you can see, there's this big bulging section that comes out at the top here. And that bulge is stopping me from accessing the main loot box that I have in the back there. So I'm afraid to say that we're going to be ditching this bunker and building a third one. Third time lucky. But I'm actually glad about this because this area that we've built in is rubbish. It's farm zone. Nobody's going to live around here. Barely any monuments. So instead of having our bunker over here, we're going to YOLO this. We want to put this bunker to the test. So we're going to move over next to the outpost. Mate, I could live right here. This is perfect. This is right next to the outpost, pretty much. And it's the perfect rock. Okay. We're building on this rock right next to the outpost. I've got neighbors all around me. I'm right next to a road. So the, the PvP will be better over here. And uh, yeah, just not on the coastline. Isolated from the world. Ah! Yep, yeah, learn to shoot, mate. Oh, we did it. We did it. Access our bunker. I'm just going to grab all the loot in here. So, let's go. Okay, we're good. Player right there. Crap. Oh, no. He's using bow and arrows. It's all right, boys. Just get behind this base. And we're good. You can give up now, mate. It's a good job we stored all our loot away. Is he still chasing? Oh my god, the dedication that these... Adios. He's still chasing? This might be his first ever rust kill. There we go, he's gone the wrong way. <laughs> oh, he's just spotted me again, I think. Yeah. I'm running right towards an airdrop. A few moments later. Alright, pursuit over. Let's do this. Here we have it, boys. Please work. Yes! It works! And I can have this here as well. Boom! Look at that! Can we access the box? Yes, we can! And the TC and the two boxes down here as well. Perfect! We, right, we just need to add the roof and then we're good. Okay, I was a bit worried there because I've added this extra thing here. This extra triangle. But that's great because we'll be able to fit a furnace right there. Basically, yeah. Oh, good stuff. This is an absolute awesome base. Look at this. This is our base. Ladies and gentlemen... Gonna see what we can do with this. See what we can electrify. Okay, look, I'll, I'll put the furnace down right there. Boom. Demolish that. And there you go. 
All right, so from the outside, this base just looks like this. Tiny little base. And we'll upgrade all of this to metal, of course. Um, in fact, we'll do that pretty much now. Once we've, well, we'll put the furnace on and then, and it, hang on. Alexa, cancel timer. Sorry, boys, my, my potatoes appear to have, uh, be, be ready to eat. So I don't know what my English was there, but okay. So while I do that, let's put the furnace on. Get our bunker upgraded to metal. Get that on. Okay, furnace on. I will be back. Once I'm back, we'll upgrade all that to metal. With, but the base is done. The base is looking good. No gaps this time. We can access all the loot. We have a bunker base. Okay. Yep. Let's cook some food. And also, let's just make sure that we can still build. Yep, we can still build. Crafting a sleeping bag as well. We're good to go. Now allow me to lay out the area for you a little bit, lads. Of course, we are living right here, very close to the outpost. Now, in between the outpost and the abandoned supermarket, there is a big tower. And yes, these boys love to roof camp. In a matter of hours, they've built a massive base. They're no joke, and I do not want to be hanging around their base too often. Now, at this moment in time, I'm just going through the motions, being a bit of a paddle farmer, recycling, and just generally building up to that tier one workbench so we can start crafting revolvers and eventually start doing some monument runs. And we're in the safe zone. I'm gonna recycle a bunch of this. We do have a drop box. Hey, we could use that on our bunker base, extra storage. Why not? You got, you got 12 scrap to spare, either of you, my friends. Come on, please help a brother out. I'm, I'm trying to buy something from a shop. Well, I'll give you... I got eight. I got eight, I got eight. You got eight, thank you. You got four strap, George. You're actually, you got two more. You're a G, George. Thank you so much. I wouldn't have given him anything if it wasn't for the other guy that said he had eight. Then I felt like I kind of had to give him the remaining four, you know? Boom. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's a good spot. Just in case we need to drop loot. So, yeah. But anyway, how much scrap have we got so far? We've currently got 58. So we can craft a tier one workbench. We're going to have to figure out where we're going to place that as well. Now, like any wipe day, the landscape changes quickly. You don't know who your neighbors are going to be from one moment to the next. But we are about to meet our first set of neighbors. Say hello to the Russians. Hello. Okay, those are those our neighbors. Hello, boys. Friendly! Neighbors, neighbors, bro. Hello, Neighbor, bro. bro. What? What? Hello. Neighbor, neighbor, bro. Hello. Don't steal my loot. Hello. You want to see something cool? No. Hey. Watch this. Hey. Thank you, bro. You see that? No. Very good. He's not that impressed. You leave? Yes, friendly, okay. You, you leave? Leave? Friendly? Friendly, friendly. You okay. leave? I what? No. I, you I leave? No. Yes, I live here, yes. Uh, Please open, open, please open. No. <laughs> no? No, this is my, this is... Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is uh, your, your base. Yes. Is this, Adio. is this your, your base? Yes, friendly. I feel like he, I'm a bit sussed out by this guy. He's looking at the base like, what's going on? I need to make sure he didn't get um, TC. I'm like paranoid. It does have a lock on it. So yeah, okay, there you go. And uh, obviously my box has a lock on it as well. So he wouldn't be able to get that loot. Definitely a bit fishy, that guy. Our closest neighbor sussing me out a bit, you know? Okay, boys, I'm heading to the supermarket. I'm hoping I can snatch some kills. I see a player over here. Again, killed him. Oh my god, his friends come out. That's for sure. We're gonna med up. Well, I don't want to use all the meds. I want to research that. Actually, there's no point in researching it really because 
it's like the first thing on the tech tree, so we might as well use it to get to safe uh, health. Let's put on his friends. Let's put on his clothes. A couple of stone nodes around here. Useful. I'm going to grab them while we've got the chance. Okay, boys. I can see our rock face over there. We only got one kill and we didn't grab his bow for small trips. I managed to get a few nodes as well, so it wasn't all bad. All right, open up that. And there you go. All right. In total, we have 122 scrap. We also have quite a lot of rope now. So I'm thinking we need to get that tier one workbench down. Play it. Come on then, bro. I've got cover. You don't. Come on then, mate. Oh, his friend's coming to help him. Which I don't like. So that means I'm going to move... Calling on backup from your mate. Almost. Okay, that, that that's gonna kill me. That nail gun's gonna kill me. Oh! I let him get so close to me. I don't like this. Okay, two of these boys. You know, I know as soon as that nail gun, I'm just gonna keep running. Oh my god, how close is this? crossbow mate. His crossbow mate's not not close, which is all good. If we can get a headshot on this guy with a nail gun, I'll be happy. Okay, I'm dead. Oh, why you have to ruin our primitive PvP fight? The bow fight commenced, man. I should have kept fighting, but the, as soon as the nail gun guy gets close to you, run. It's a strong weapon close range. That's another reason why we need that tier one workbench, lads. We need to get the crossbow nail gun set up going. So, all right, I'll grab some wood from over here. Okay, we have one problem, and it's the drop box. You need two satchel charges to destroy a drop box. Brilliant. We've got to find another way around this. It's okay. It's not that bad. I'll just build this way instead. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, I'm going to have to destroy that. Entrance there. Destroy that. And we are good. Nice. There's a player farming outside my base. And I just want to kill him. Because I, I think it's the guy that chased me. Before everything, we'll do the base upgrade in a minute. I want to go and kill this guy. Yeah, I see a player over there. Hit him once. Just hit him behind this TC. Oh my god. His friend's probably coming over. I can see someone in the distance. Come on. Oh yes. That was that was tough. Okay, extra, extra crossbow. Seemed like he was saving up. Um Car parts, this guy. Is he gonna be our is he gonna be another car guy next to us? Like we had last wipe. I'm just gonna put this stuff in the drop box real quick. I'm gonna keep the crossbow stored away until we've got um enough for a nail gun. Yeah, there he is. Does he live in that base? He's running over here. I see him. I can get rock I can get upper ground here. Does he live in that base? Almost. Oh, he does live in that base. Had me thinking he didn't live there. Okay, doors down, locks on. All right, we're going to have our tier one workbench in this room. And we're going to have our electricity in this room. This is going to be the full extent of this base. Somebody's getting attacked. I want to go and see what's going on. Headshot. Killed him. And we got another guy who wants some up there as well. Does this guy have a lot of loot? No. Nope. Hit him once. Hit him again. And hit... Oh, two in one. All right, let's see if we can get all this loot and dip. We are on fire. Tier one is down. All right, people. That concludes day number one. A pretty successful wipe. Although it did take us three times to build a base. Overall... 
I'm happy that we changed our base location and built next to the outpost in a more hectic area. But, uh, Monday wipe is nothing compared to Tuesday. Servers always get crazier on day number two, so bring it on. Okay, boys. Connecting to the server. 283 people on day number two. I already know, I usually, I'm really nervous when I'm logging into the game, but I already know that there's zero chance I've been raided. We are in the game, and we have not been raided, as I, as expected. All right, let's see how the neighborhood's doing. Okay, it looks like my closest neighbor that's upgraded his base a bit. We've also got a, a big base that's been built right next to us here. Uh, oh, and it looks like he's being upgraded right now. Ah, oh, all good. We've got a rock covering us somewhat. Right, let's grab our crossbow. Let's go out. We've got things we need to do today. Now, the goal for today is to electrify our bunker base. I want to put this base to the test and see if I can make a functional automated version of this design. So back on the road again, I went and did some barrel farming and occasionally checked out the abandoned supermarket for that green key card. Hey, nail gun. But... This area where we've decided to live is becoming increasingly more hectic. Ah! In fact, remember that guy from yesterday who went inside his base just as I was about to kill him? Even he has decided to add a tower to his base. We've definitely chosen a hot spot here. They're running that way. Oh, he spotted me. <laughs> now I could spend the entire day giving out apples to nakeds. Hello, man. Skip, please. Don't skip. Don't kill me. <gasps> Oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Or we could actually get something done. But because we're living in such a hectic area, I'm going to hit the seas to start this morning off. Also, I'm pretty sure that that naked I just gave an apple to had a gun. Hmm. He has a gun. Sorry. No, man, it's me. You gave me an apple. I know. Why? Why did you kill me? You gave me an apple, bro. Why? <laughs> Sorry. Why did you give me an apple? Sorry, I thought you had a gun. I'm so sorry. I thought that was a gun. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. You sound really familiar, like Jordan Rance. Prévian, merci. Prévian, moi, drug. Bye bye. Now, the great thing about this bunker is you don't need to rush to spend your scrap. I always find that I tend to want to use my scrap as quickly as possible, especially on a freshly wiped server. In the early game of Rust, that's what people want from your base. They want scrap and sulfur. But with this bunker, I am pretty confident that we can store any loot we want in here and we'll be fine. So with that being said, after some good old runs on this seas, we'd managed to accumulate a decent amount of scrap and also a decent amount of high qual. We are ready to upgrade the bunker to high qual. Okay, boys, I've just got back to base um, after doing another little ocean run. So let's have a look. We have in total 65 high qual. All right, and at the moment we're on 851 scrap. All right, recycle the road sign, 81 high qual. Destroy that. Right, here we go. Armored. Armored. And armored. We have a. Oh, get back in base. If you want to raid my base. It's going to cost you 8 C4 or 15 rockets. That's pretty good for a one by one. And the upkeep of the base is 11 high qual, 500 stone, 60 metal, and 4 wood. Okay, we're almost at 1,000 scrap as well. Okay, I'm going to stick a sign on my base. <laughs> Raid me. <laughs> Boom, revolvers researched and bean can. And then we're very close to satchel as well. Okay, we've researched a load of the electrical stuff. We're almost ready to start electrifying this base and making it look funky. But before that, one of our acquaintances is about to have some trouble. Oh my God, somebody's, get, somebody's getting satchel raided right next to me. I can't kill this guy. I don't have anything to kill him with. I wanna know who's getting raided. Oh, it's that base being raided. Okay. I don't have a gun at the moment. <sighs> Can I quickly craft a revolver, maybe? Really quickly. Grab a metal pipe. Grab some of that. Grab some of that. 
Okay, let's go. I, I, I think he's only got a revolver, the guy. Sounds like he's right here at the base. Come on, boys. Probably won't be able to see him. Got me is he had a mate. Oh, I gotta open the bunker again. This is the only problem about having a bunker, I will say. I gotta keep opening the bunker. I think we might be out of time. Maybe I can craft a water pipe this time. No, water pipe will do. 150 wood and metal fragments. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, what? Two shots don't kill him. Well, rest in peace to our Russian neighbors. Sorry, I uh, couldn't help you there, boys. I want to see if I can do some key card runs real quick to... Um, we need tech trash uh, so we can craft solar panels and stuff. So I see a player. How are you, sir? Add some decent loot. Let's run. I'm not going to stick around to kill the other guy. And we'll head straight back out. Again, we're looking for that green key card. So it's just a case of finding it. God, he made it in the cave. That lucky son. I'm not going down there because I know he's got a pump. Got him. He had a gate. Well, I know exactly what I'm going to do with that. Look at the sign. <laughs> I wonder if it will work, man. I feel like most people are going to know this is a bunker and not raid it, but yeah. Um, all right, back to base. Nice little kill there. We're still trying to get this green key card. Obviously, we're getting sidetracked every time. Ceiling light. That'll come in handy once we've got this place electrified, which is coming soon. Okay, I'm going to block off the line of sight from this new compound that's appeared next to us. We can place that right there. That is perfect. All right. Yeah, boy. Now our neighbors right here can't spot us from their roof or anything. And if we wanted to, which I'm actually going to do, this guy, the rock roof, we can block off him as well. All right. There you go. All right. Let the green key card journey continue. Has it respawned? Please. Yes. I'll, we're in luck. Now I'm going to keep this brief, boys. I headed over to the harbor, grabbed the blue key card, and then headed over to the airfield. Side note. The compound neighbors that built right next to me. Well, to put it simply, I don't think they're my neighbors anymore. It was a pretty smooth sailing run. Didn't encounter many problems, but the looter airfield was pretty rubbish. <laughs> no tech trash. So we're going to electrify the base with what we've got. I'm too impatient. This place is feeling a bit more like home now and not just a empty shell against a rock. I'm adding, I'm going to add more electrical stuff right now and turn this into something even crazier. I actually want to use the siren light and some Christmas lights, of course. All right, <laughs> Christmas lights have been added on the outside of the base. The raid me sign. We now have flasher lights, Christmas lights, and all that goodness. The base is as bait as it possibly gets. <laughs> I just don't think anyone's going to raid this because they're probably going to think it's a trap base now. More than anything else, they're going to look at this and think, yeah, that's a trap. It's also some reverse cut psychology where it's like they're just not going to raid it. If you put, It's a proven fact, ladies and gentlemen. If you put a sign on your base saying raid me, you're probably not going to get raided. So, yeah. All right. Also... This strategy does actually work. If you ever find yourself getting chased by a fully geared guy, just tell him you're rich. OK, 
case in point. Don't kill me, I'm rich. You're the dead. Yes, I have 10 rockets. Up. 10 rockets. Please. Oh, the no. Here's the bunker. I've added a nice little red light in there. Now I just need now I need to add the electric furnaces. And then after that, we're gonna add pipes to this. And we're gonna create kind of like an automated satchel crafter. I'm gonna turn this bunker into a little satchel factory. Been hearing a lot of raids around this area. I think it's about time we did some for ourselves. Boom. Fill it up with metal ore. Right. In case you guys were wondering, no, you can't place pipes into the bunker, unfortunately. I tested this out several times, tried to glitch it through the rock somehow. It wasn't having it. That would be way too overpowered anyway. So, yeah. Let's go and see how my neighbors are doing. I'm going to say hello. Because 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 they got raided and they built back. So, But I don't know if it's the same guys that built back that I allianced with. So I need to go and have a look. Hello. Okay, I don't think he's home right now. Oh, wait. I think he is online. I hear a building right next to us. It's my neighbor. Upgrading his little base. Oh, my God! No, you scared me, bro. I didn't mean to be hostile, but... I'm your neighbor. I'm your neighbor, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I just, uh, you came up with a gun, and I was freaking out. Okay. I'm just trying to build this nice little hole. It looks good. In it. You took over this base, eh? Hey? These guys used I... to be some other people. They used to be Russian. Yeah, yeah, we did take it over. Nice. There, yeah, we found a pinwheel in here. It had a bunch of Russian shit all over it. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, they were very sus. Well, yeah. wel welcome, welcome to the well, neighborhood. It's nice meeting you, man. You too. Thank you, thank you. Sorry I live in, for shooting you. No, I live in the base next to you that has a sign that says, Raid me, I dare you. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, please raid me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I saw that. <laughs> nice to meet you too, man. Oh, all right, all right. They're, well, they're much better neighbors than the sus guy that was freaking questioning my base. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, boys, I have set up a system in our storage room involving the pipes. Any loot that I deposit into this box here, like any um, metal ore or sulfur or high qual, gets automatically transported to our furnaces right here. And then, it, and then from the furnaces, it gets transported into this box right here. Hello. Neighbor? Uh, no. Do you by any chance have any spare rope? Yes, hang on. Okay, cool. If you need anything in exchange, we have a bunch of... I'll give this guy 50 feet. Uh, I don't mind. Voila. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. No worries. Much. No worries. You have a good day now. You too. I've also managed to get an extra gate, which I might as well just place down. Okay, two industrial crafters are being crafted. I'll show you guys how this works. Just real quick, for those of you that don't know. So you can attach industrial crafters like this to your workbench. We're going to go ahead and craft two to this. You have to take the uh, gunpowder blueprint and you have to place that inside whatever you want to craft. So there we go. I've placed the blueprint in the industrial crafter and now it will craft that gunpowder, this industrial crafter. Then I need to craft a bean can grenade. Place the bean can inside the research. Boom. Place that inside here. There we go. That's going to be responsible for crafting bean cans. And finally, craft the satchel. Researching the satchel. Okay. And uh, once again, we're going to place the final one in this industrial crafter. There we go. Thank you. 
Everything is officially turned on. Yes. I can hear the gunpowder crafting. There we go. Ah, let me explain this. This is a mess, man. This is a mess. Look at this. <laughs> but I'll explain it. Sulfur and metal gets put in this box from the furnaces. Then that gets transported to this industrial crafter, which turns it into gunpowder. The gunpowder then gets transported into this box right here. There we go. 20. From this box, the gunpowder and metal fragments get transported to this tier 2, which crafts bean cans. The bean cans then get put in this box here. And then from there, get crafted into satchels from this. Look at that. Doesn't get more bait than that, man. Doesn't get more. How have I survived? Okay, the satchels are being crafted, but they're not being transported. Uh, I forgot to do that. Hang on. Okay, now it should be working. Yes, it is. Satchels are being automatically placed into this box. And they're being crafted for me. Completely automated system. I don't even have to be here. I've created a tiny bunker base that crafts satchels for us. We don't have to be involved whatsoever. Now that I've created a satchel crafting machine, it's time to select a raid target. Initially, I spotted this base on the cliff close by near the outpost. It was a solo player. I wasn't overly optimistic about this one because eh, it's probably not going to have that much loot, but this was my first target. However, after going out and hitting a couple of sulfur nodes, I stumbled upon this base, which looked way more promising. These guys have a shop front, and through the shop front, you can see an oil refinery inside the base which is a very, very good indicator that there's probably some juice in here. On top of that, it's only 10 satchels to raid these boys. So without a doubt, this is the target. This is the base we're going to raid. All we got to do is get home with some sulfur, put the sulfur in the box, and our bunker base will take care of the rest for us. Easy as that. Okay, boys. My base is hard at work, as you can hear. We have 13 satchels currently. I'm waiting for two more satchels, and then we'll be good to go. But yeah. Right, we've got 14 satchels now. One more. And that's about to be crafted. Yep, watch this. There we go. Crafting process. Boom. Satchel. There we go. Right, I researched uh, the SAR. I've also got meds. Building plan hammer we've got. We've got the raid target right here. We're just going to get over there without dying. Blow the place up. Hopefully, don't get too much bother while we're doing that. And then see what's inside. Okay, we're off. Just stay calm, boys. Aye! Let the explosions begin. We're through the first door. There's another door we've got to get through. There are boxes that have tools in, and guns, and an AK. Shotgun trap. There are players in here. All right, there's another door to get through. That's not good. We're gonna have to come back with more satchels. Let's grab them. Let's grab everything we can. Tech trash. CCV camera. Here we got two AKs. Computer station. Yes. Okay, we've got loads of uh, stuff here. Oh, yes. Computer station, everything. But we need to go and see what's inside the main loot room and we need to do it quick before these guys log in i don't know if they're gonna get up early but you never know uh right i'll just put this in here for now we have ak now man i always end up getting an ak somehow in my videos i never research it but i usually find it we've got a double door and a lock for when we do get in the base uh, how many how many satchels have crafted four we've got enough from the auto crafter boom One more. Come on. Okay, one dud. Oh, I hear a player. Shh, yeah. Rubbish. Doors down, locks on though. Oh, there's a player outside. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> one thousand. 1,500 scrap. 
It's 300 high qual. I am not leaving this base anytime soon. These guys were divers, man. I feel like I'm going to use this scrap right now to research stuff because I'm sort of stuck right now. I know there's a guy outside with gear because I heard his boots. Just in case we die, it'll be better that we use the scrap, you know? There's charcoal in here as well, which is beautiful. Okay, boys, it's night time. I have literally um, had some breakfast, waited in this base. Uh, there's no way that this guy's still camping. Okay, it looks pretty good. The cl the coast looks pretty clear. Still some guns here, but I'll just let... See. Okay, I'm grabbing all the rest of the guns. Got them, pretty much all of them. I'll just let somebody else grab the rest of that stuff. We'll go in. I'm, I'm going to wear my hazmat. This is too bait. I'll let the night vision fall. Okay, I can see my base. I mean, it's hard not to be able to see this base. Look at this. What have I built? Okay, I'm going to upgrade this entire base, our entire base to high qual. Just because I can. And also because I'm just trying to make this base as... I'm trying to get raided pretty much. I've got loads of charcoal now, so we can pop that in this box. And then, um, once again... It's our, our automated system is going to start crafting uh, satchels for us again. I'm going to expand the base one more time just so I can build a surveillance room. surveillance room repair bench as well now let's place the cctv camera outside okay cctv camera is down we now have surveillance of our rock bunker here all right now let's go ahead and uh get into the skies real quick now it's been a while since i've flown one of these but Somebody's just bought something with the drone system. There he is. Hey. Hello, mate. He's going to be so confused. He's going to be like, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah I've not come to deliver anything. <laughs> he means business. Pretzel King. I'm hearing shots. Let me go and investigate this. No, there's a player there running. I see him. Track him down. I'm faster than you, mate. These things go quick, boys. Oi! Is he going in the cave? Now, there's one more chapter to today's video, and it involves this cave right here. We've been seeing people running out of this cave all day. There's something very curious about this place that needs investigating, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Oi, 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 oi. He got it down to 20 health. Well, I know you're in the cave, mate, so how about I uh, just go and pay you a little visit? I'm going to hide my drone behind there. All right, that's, I've actually probably just destroyed it, but <laughs> it's all good. Ah, I hear somebody in the cave. Oh my god, there's somebody coming down here. Bro, what are you doing? I have player. You stupid bro. Help me. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me, please, bro. Bro, don't don't kill me. Help me, bro. Bro, bro, what are you doing? Oh my god. I don't have a lot of ammo left. Okay, yeah, we've given up our we've given up our uh, cover, so I'm gonna just go back to base. I was trying to be sneaky and get in the cave and kill the guy with the SAR. Now, after doing some recycling, and I had a lot to recycle, to say the least, from that raid that we did, I felt like enough time had passed for us to go back down in the cave and see exactly what's going on here. Hello? Hello? Oh, there's a raid going on right beneath me. Oh, I see what's... I see what's happening here. Killed him. That was uh, a different guy, though. 
Now there's another base here. Oh my god! Now that's an interesting cave. Uh, trap cave, essentially. Killed him. What's going on down here, man? That's the revolver guy. We've got the revolver guy now. And he actually had a double barrel, so pushing would have been a terrible idea. Okay, I want to see if I can loot this, take this guy's loot, even though he's just a naked. I just, I feel like we might just about be able to get his loot without the turret. No, no. There is a player. Oh, I'm dead. Damn it, there was a player there. Now, greed got the better of me here. I should have just ran with the loot that we'd managed to get. There's definitely something strange about this cave. I'm going to try and fly the drone down in the cave to get another look at this base. Navigate our way through here. Oh, the door's closed. Oh, he's coming up. Oh, oh. No. All right, guys. Hello. Uh, it, this is me. And uh, I don't want to end the video yet because there's a lot more that happened. But I have a flight in three hours time to, to catch. And I've been up all night. It's 8 a.m. right now editing this video. And uh, yeah, it's my birthday on Friday, so I'm just going to do some hiking in Norway. Shout out to all the Norwegian viewers. Um, and so I'll just quickly explain to you guys what else happened in this wipe. And also just a little bit about the bunker base and what I thought about it. So obviously, as you can see here, I got destroyed in the cave. But we will be checking this cave out in a moment, so just bear with me. But before we do that, I started to realize, and this is the problem with this bunker base, that I was accumulating way too much loot and I had nowhere to put it. I was like, my base was getting fuller and fuller, this bunker base. So I decided to actually build a car garage, like a car workshop. But don't worry, I'm not gonna be selling cars again like I did in my last video, although that was pretty awesome, but we're not gonna do that again. I decided to actually give away a car for free to my neighbor because my neighbor was awesome. Like. He just randomly lives, like moved in next to us, took over the Russian's base, and was such a nice, friendly Rus player that I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give him a car. So I built this car garage, built a car, waited for my neighbor to come back online, but he never did. So instead of giving my neighbor a free car, I decided to give it to a paddle farmer in the outpost. I'm gonna make this paddle farmer's dream come true. Excuse me, sir. Mr. Paddle Farmer, do you have a Yo. microphone? I have a gift for you. Yes. Follow me. Okay. It's very close. Uh, you seem a little suspicious. I won't kill you. No, take, no, no. take my gun no, you're gonna and, and that. Now, now you can kill me. And you can look, I have no gun. Okay, let's go. Don't kill me though, because you know, you won't get your surprise. Am I gonna get killed? No, I, I, I've literally got a really. Yeah, I'm just. Okay. You, look, sometimes it's hard to trust people in this game, but I'm one in a million, okay? So how's the paddle farming going anyway? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Here it is. Your very own car. Hang on. Watch out. Ah. Okay. Come outside. The code to the car is 1155. This is yours. Okay, thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Stick to the roads. Go on. He's, oh my God, he's never driven a car. Yep, that way. Press F to turn on the lights. There we go. Hey. All right, so there you go. Paddle Farmer got his free car. GG. Um, now back to the cave stuff. At this moment in time, I actually logged out of the game for like the like three or four days. I was like, okay, I'm done with the wipe. I've tried out the base. It's awesome. But I jumped into a Discord call with my friend and fellow Rust YouTuber, Ramsey. Some of you might not know who he is because he's an old school Rust YouTuber. He hasn't uploaded in a long time, but his videos are amazing. I decided to show Ramsey my base. And also, I wanted to check if the base has had survived the whole wipe. I decided on the last day of the wipe to log back in and see if the base has been raided. And so I'm going to leave you guys with this little last segment. My friend Ramsey jumps on Rust to join me. I, I give him a base tour. Doesn't last long. Um, 
we do go and check out the cave. But yeah, enjoy. Unreal. Right, my base hasn't been raided. Are you ready for this? Yeah, we'll have a. Why don't you bag me? Oh yeah, you want to see it in person? Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's do yeah. it. Okay, well, welcome. This is the land This is the base. So you take a look oh, from the outside. Nice. Fully, fully armored. Wait a second. Have you got? Have you got the sheet metal DLC? Uh, yes, I do. Right, follow me through. Let's give you a tour. Uh, I mean, aesthetically, I'm I'm pleased. Yes. All right. So if you go onto that computer station and press the the bottom one, the the drone free. There's the drone. Nice. Is that you there? Yep. Hello, sir. Hello. There we go. Oh, hey. Nice. I'll take that back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Once it's landed, hey. you can pick it up. Oh, I like this. All right. Like so. We have this That's way. Great. This is my automated room. That's awesome. Whose freaking door is that? That's, I know. That's legendary. Yeah, let's have a, let me look at it. Yeah, Probably it's... Some skin, some skin creators, not some, you know, Twitch drop. Right? I think so, yeah. It's probably... <laughs> Everybody else. Explosives. C4, Explosives or meds rockets. or something like that, yeah. Meds. Oh, ammo. Oh, fighter jet. Oh! <laughs> I did. Yeah, yeah. They're flying <laughs> over the place. I don't know if they kill you. Well, I guess we'll face. find out. All right, so I want you to. Yeah, I want to ask you a question. Where's my tool cupboard? Where's my tool cupboard? Hmm. <laughs> Where's John's tool cupboard? Oh, where? Where could it possibly be? Yeah. Oh no. All there is is a curtain. All right. Okay. Step this way. <laughs> there it is. I have oh, my it's there. Yep. I have oh. my boxes and my 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 all my main loot behind this bunker. What? Yeah. Uh, that I didn't expect. I thought it was. I thought this rug is just behind a door. Oh no! I that was a <laughs> oh no! Imagine. <laughs> I thought that was a doorway. Yeah. You got me. The fact that that's still a thing—that's just crazy. Man. It is. Like you'd have to raid through armored to raid that's me. That's not cool. That's not cool. Yeah, it isn't cool, but it is. It is part of the game, you know. So you gotta like take advantage of oh, it. Oh, if, if it's in the game, sure, but we, I'm like, I'm all for it getting patched. Yeah. So is so it... what is this? Is this is this a room? No, that's just a rug. Oh, player. Bonjour. Hello. Can you hear yeah. me, guys? How are you going? Good, how are you? Uh, very good. I was just uh, researching the area and trying to find something that would be useful for me. Nothing else. I didn't come to raid the here. Hello. Hi. Have you ever have you ever flown a drone before? Uh no. Nice. Yeah, you wanna you wanna go? I, I don't I don't think that Okay. Go into here. Hi. Go into here and press the bottom one. Ah, okay. Take it okay. for a spin. Uh, there you go, there you go, mate. Boom. How I can go down? Uh, control. Uh, control or crouch or C. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay, are you, are you done? Have you had? Have you had fun? <laughs> oh! Yeah, <laughs> that was actually <laughs> very fun. Oh no! Oh no! What? It broke. Where did it go? What? Oh no! What? It shattered like Nana's vase. Adios. So, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Adios. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. There you go. Okay. Bye. All right. So I headed back to the cave to check it out. The problem with caves is they're just very confusing. If you build the right type of base at one of these caves, it is so annoying for anyone to raid because you don't get to see the exterior of the base. You don't get to blow in from the side. You have to go through the doors. And so Ramsey and I tried our best to infiltrate this cave base. We started off with some good old eco raiding. Then we whipped out the satchels. But unfortunately, we were met with dead ends and there's no way we would have been able to get through this armored wall. So uh, it was worth investigating, but in the end, didn't get anything from this cave. So on that note, everybody, I'd just like to give a big shout out to Hikik, the fella who designed this base and came up with it. It popped up in my YouTube recommended. He seems like an awesome creator, um, like just really chill guy. He uploads regular base building videos and you should definitely uh, go subscribe to his channel. And uh, if you like your base building stuff and you just want to subscribe to a cool creator, highly recommend. And uh, the base design was awesome, mate. I uh, I do think that Rust will eventually start to clock onto these bunker bases and patch them. They are so overpowered. 
Personally, I don't think they should be part of the game, but it was fun experimenting and trying out the, you know, building a bunker for the first time. W will I build a bunker again? Maybe, but I like to just stick to my simple designs with doors and I just prefer the old school way of building. Thanks a lot for watching if you've got this far, everybody. Really appreciate you guys and I will see you in the next one. Hey, Ramsey, there's a guy there by the windmill. Can you go check him out? Yeah, yeah. We will here. Oh yeah, she should just the right here. Ah! Oh, that's the worst story in history!